have a lot that goes on that way. A better torso is a better arm. Okay, this is right. I'm going to work on that. All right, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Kelly Lake and recently in Bagua online, we have been doing iron shirt practice. Now the common idea around iron shirt is that it's for making like an invulnerable body. You know, you see people like smack sticks and stabs or pulls on uh, the people's bodies in like demonstrations. And that's a good way to sell it. But those, there's also little tricks to those demos. But iron shirt, that's the general idea. But it does much more than create a durable body. That's just the perk. There's these exercises that have to do with slapping your body. And then they're almost like Qigong exercises, a particular posture that you hold that maintains a particular type of force vector or recycling of energy in the body and you do that with some breath work and then you know there's a whole process to it but you train your torso to configure in a certain way now what this does is yes it makes it easier or it makes you more uh, capable of shrugging off or dispersing or muffling out attacks that might land on your body but it also does much more than that it can create more power in my own strikes a better torso is a better arm arm when it comes to any sort of internal application that you might see in something like push hands. Uh, you're going to be more adept at um, channeling force through your body on the inside rather than the outside so you're not having some sort of wiggle fest going on. And furthermore, it also builds confidence so that if I'm in a situation or if I'm just sparring, it's a friendly situation, what happens, I can more safely and more confidently go on the offensive knowing that my body feels more protected, almost as if I had like a suit of armor on in some way, yeah? So let's go ahead and play with this a little bit and see what we have. So if we are doing push hands, for example, we're kind of flowing, we're going for like the arm drags or what have you. Now if I don't have my iron shirt on, I'm not going to be as whole and balanced. My thoracic cavity is not going to be unified with my abdominal cavity and I'm going to have a lot of wiggling going on. So as he pushes into me, right, I might try to wiggle out this way or this way. This is not what we want. What happens as he pushes into me or goes for some sort of application, what happens is the force is going on the inside of the body rather than me trying to figure it out with the outside of my body. So we're here, we're traveling. He goes in, I sink down, I drop down, I have my iron shirt on, and then I can work on different applications. So we have a lot that goes on that way. Ah! Here we go. And so just maintain the iron shirt and flow and you'll more or less find some unique areas in which to work. Okay, and when we go to striking, always wear, always wear some gloves. It'll protect your hand. Don't try to be the tough guy. I'm, I can hit the bag really hard without gloves. I'm sure you can, but you'll start to hurt your hand and wrist and after a while. This protects that. So anyway, as we're working with the bag, of course I cannot have my shirt on. Wow, really just whip it in. There's the right tool for the job. Doing what's appropriate is always really good. So I can hit, right? I can turn and hit just double up the arm, whatever it is. But if I put on the shirt, a better torso is a better arm. Okay? And so I get much more of a damaging effect on the bag. Okay? Can you hear how that affects the frame of the bag more than the other ones? So there's a right tool for the job, but when we're trying to strike very hard, working with the, packing the shirt with the hit, you're gonna do a lot more, uh, generate a lot more force. And it's not really that much more effort. It's just a type of precision, articulation with your body, a way that you can figure yourself. Now, if we're here in terms of striking, if we're going at it and sparring and this type of thing, right, I wanna make sure that I maintain my shirt. Because if I'm not, and we're going this way, and he goes for a body shot, 
This is much more open. This is going to hurt. And vice versa. If he's kind of up high, like he's more afraid, when he gets hit, that's going to hurt a lot more than if he was putting on his shirt. And then this is going to be much more durable. He's going to be much more grounded. And he, if he turns with that shirt at the same time, just kind of turn, boom, it kind of muffles or deflects some of the force. So this is good in that domain. Now he's going to have more confidence too. As he's striking with his shirt on, then he's going to feel a lot more solid in his body, which transmits more force into his arm, into his attack. Yeah? Now it should also build up some confidence because as he's attacking in this way with his shirt on, he's going to feel more protected. Like if I did turn and hit him, it's like he's kind of in a turtle shell well, posture, but it's, it's more the quality of a turtle shell. He's protected. He has a, a type of armoring on. So if I was going to go on the offensive, I'm keep my shirt on, whack, and it gives, gives me confidence. So a little demonstration on how iron shirt could be used in uh, perhaps sparring or how it might translate into a situation. Uh, basically, you're having confidence for a strong offense, which is a strong defense, simply by building your own confidence of feeling more protected so you can effectively counter. Instead of thinking parry hit, you think take the shot and hit in a way. Remember that you're kind of muffling, deflecting, or slightly parrying, some combination of that. Let's take a look. So you can see all the counters I can get just by simply being able to take those hits. And I'm slightly working with those. I'm exhaling my air. Sometimes as he hits, I want to move in this way. So what happens is this structure is a little bit, it hasn't reached peak power right yet, right? And this way I'm in range for bop, a strong hit. Now obviously I'm not hitting him, but you can see where that counter is just slow, would go, boom. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So Bagua, boxing, sparring, this type of thing. Iron shirt is the key. If he hits, boom, I'm close to him. On top of that, we also play these games. And they're called like little energy games that we play. We get more sensitive as we practice our Qigong meditation and Bagua art. Um, we get more sensitive and more aware, better proximity sense. So one of the games we play is your opponent kind of armors a particular part of the body. In the beginning, they help you to build up confidence by deliberately, I'll be the person putting on my armor or protecting myself. I make it very easy. I'm very deliberately protecting my head and upper body. I'm not so worried about my lower body. And so when he does that, he's kind of projecting and feeling out to me. And as he's doing that, he's noticing the areas, almost like a water through a cavern system. It kind of flows through that system, right? And so what happens, I start to feel where the energy goes and where the energy feels like it's kind of shielded or there's a barrier there. And that lets me know my entry points. I might attack the barrier, then sneak and attack towards the area which I uh, deemed vulnerable, exposed in some fashion. So we play with that, or I might protect low. And as he's projecting forward, with his iron shirt, he puts on his iron shirt, he fills out his sensations, he gets a big presence, he kind of, you know, shows up uh, in a way charismatically, you know, big presence, you know, and this sort of thing. He kind of tracks that feeling of being more expanded. As he's tracking that, he'll feel what is shielded and what is not, and he's going to learn to attack with his shirt towards that vulnerable area. So the shirt helps in a variety of different ways. If we're here and I'm feeling into him, I'm looking for what's exposed and what's not, and as he attacks, right, I'm going to work on that while maintaining my iron shirt. Now that's a whole nother topic that can we can 
continue to talk about. But the key points that I want to make in this video is that with this iron shirt that we've been practicing in the, the Bagua course or the Bagua life classes, is that it's much more than just getting a solid armor or durability to your body. It's also giving you better striking power. When we work on any of the, of the um, applications or techniques that use internal method, like the fajin or uprooting someone, uh, the iron shirt definitely helps you to really embody that uh, foundational nagong uh, curriculum of rooting and keeping the body like a box, the X-band and the six wheels inside that. Uh, when it comes to any sort of uh, uh, proximity sense or you know, expanded uh, awareness or sensitivity to you, just practicing the iron shirt also helps with this. And um, yeah, so there we go. Durability, striking power, sensitivity, builds your confidence when you're striking because you have your armor on. Um, uh, helps you in your push hands, any internal application demonstration. It's a good practice. Anyway, if you would like to learn more, uh, baguaonline.com. Uh, we have live classes uh, throughout, the, uh, well, every week, and uh, we have a huge library that's ever growing with the whole eight level curriculum uh, for anyone that's interested. Uh, so, anyway, thank you, and thank you.